Hello, artists, and welcome to week three of Art Class with Mrs. Comer. I have had so much fun seeing pictures and videos of your portfolios. I have loved seeing what you made for your sketchbooks. And now it's actually time to start a drawing module, which is where we are going to be exploring the media of drawing. As an artist, it's really important to try to explore different kinds of art. There's drawing, there's painting, sculpture, collage, fiber art, clay. There's so many different ways to make art and drawing is just one of them. But it's a very important part of, of art because it sometimes can be the basis um, for any kind of art, sketching out ideas that you have and that kind of thing. So what we're gonna be doing today is having an exploration day for drawing. So drawing day one, exploration, we're gonna be exploring drawing materials, making ideas about those art supplies that we explore. So today we will explore different drawing materials safely and form ideas about what we use. We're gonna pick out things that we like and things that maybe we did not like to draw with. And then at the end of class, we're gonna reflect on our art with a partner. Now, first things first, I'm going to show you pictures of different kinds of drawing materials that you can use. If you are at home, I know that you might not have access to everything you're about to see on my list. And guess what? That is okay. Whatever you have access to is what you're going to be exploring today. Then we're going to do a turn and talk or a stop and think if you don't have anyone near you about right now, what is your all-time favorite thing to draw with and then we're going to do some exploring and then we're going to clean up clean up is a very very important part of art and then we're going to end with show what you know so let's start by looking at pictures of things to create with art with through drawing so you could use pencils like a regular drawing pencil regular writing pencils is something you can draw with colored pencils if you have access to graphite or ebony pencils those are really fun ways to draw too they make really cool shadows and value and that kind of thing which is a fun way to make art you could be drawing with markers today metallic markers shiny markers regular markers any kind of marker you could also be drawing with pens like regular writing pens, a gel pen is a drawing material, crayons, oil pastels, you could use chalk, you could use sidewalk chalk. Now, if you don't have anything on this list except a pencil and a pen at home, that's okay. Maybe you could go outside and find a stick and dip it in mud and draw with the stick. There are a million different ways that you could be drawing today. It does not just have to be the pictures that you see on this list. So what we're going to do to start out with is I'm going to show you four artists. Some of them you may have never heard of. Some of them are alive today making drawings. And some of them are from hundreds of years ago. But it's important to learn about both, uh, both kinds of artists. So this artist, her name is Adana Kare. She's from here in the United States, from California. She's still alive today. And when you look at her art, what do you see? Yes, I see animals, and I see very realistic looking animals. So realistic that they almost look like a black and white picture, but I know that it's not a picture because I would never really see an octopus on a castle on a polar bear in real life. But she drew that. She drew that. It's amazing. And I'm actually linking a time lapse video on this page that you could watch of her drawing in real life, which is really cool. This artist's name is Hector Gonzalez, and he is well known for drawing hyper realistic eyes. And I included a picture right here where you can see kind of his process of how he draws eyes. I thought you would like to see that. This artist's name is CJ Hendry. I know you're thinking, Mrs. Comer, this is a drawing lesson, not a painting lesson. Well, CJ is really well known for drawing um, paint blobs with colored pencils. And that's the only thing that she uses. So if you look at these giant pieces of paper right here, they do not really have paint blobs on them. That is drawn with one single colored pencil, which is amazing to me. And she's from Australia. 
I'm also going to link a YouTube video of one of her time lapses. I think you'd like to see that. Now, this next artist, you might have heard of him. His name is Vincent Van Gogh. A lot of people know who he is because he's a famous painter from the Netherlands. He also cut off part of his ear when he was older. But we are including him in this, too, because these are images from his very own sketchbook. So if you remember last week, we looked at artist sketchbooks. These are some of his images from his sketchbooks. And that connects really well to what we are about to do because we're going to be drawing in our sketchbooks today with drawing materials as well. So let's do a turn and talk slash stop and think. If you are here at school, we are about to stop what we're doing. We're going to turn to people at our tables and talk to them about our all time favorite art supplies to draw with right now. If you don't have anyone near you at home that you could talk with, you could do a stop and think where you just think to yourself about what are some things you love to draw with. Like if you had anything in front of you to draw with, what would you choose? So let's talk about that now. What are your favorite materials to draw with and why? You'll say, my favorite type of drawing material is blah, 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 because blah, blah, blah. Good job, guys. I'm so proud of how we're doing so far. So here's today's challenge. Say challenge accepted. What we're going to do is we're going to explore drawing materials today in our sketchbooks, our sketchbooks that we made last week. We're going to create a drawing using every type of drawing material that we have in front of us. And the trick is you have to fit all of it on the same piece of paper. We are not filling up every single page with marks today. I want you to keep every exploration mark that you make today on one side of one paper because we need to save the rest of this paper for other art projects. And part of the challenge is being able to explore and combine some techniques that we might be playing around with and discovering all on the same paper. So be mindful about what you draw because you only have that one piece of paper in your sketchbook to use today. Start with the least messy items. For instance, I might start with a regular pencil. And then when I'm done playing with a pencil, I might play around with a pen. And then at the very end of my project, if I have something messy like oil pastels, I might use those. It's always good to start with the least messy stuff and end with the super messy stuff. And then after we experiment, we're going to reflect on how we did. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to show you um, what I will be doing in my sketchbook to play around with my exploration day. All right, so here is my sketchbook that I made for Miss Dea's virtual class. I have my name really big on it. I have not decorated the outside of my sketchbook yet, but that is okay. So what I'm gonna do is open up my sketchbook to my first blank page. Now remember, it's important to start with things that are not messy, like pencils and pens. So what I might do is just start by using a pencil. I can draw some lines on my paper. I could use my pencil to add some value that's light to dark, where I'm just shading it in. I could take my hand, I could try to smear it and blend it and make a shadow that way. This is just me exploring, which is the point of our exploration day. Just playing around and making our own discoveries, making ideas about the stuff we're using. I could use felt tip pen. I could overlap some of my marks. I love how bold felt tip pen is. It's one of my favorite things to write with, actually. I could then move on to something that's not really that messy. Maybe I could try out some crayons, add some color into my drawing. This is just me playing around. I don't really have anything in mind. I'm really just doodling. If I had a picture that I wanted to draw that's really specific, I'm the artist, it's my choice. I could, of course, draw out a different idea. This is really just me playing around, 
making ideas about my art supplies. I don't want to tell you what my ideas are because I want you to be forming your own ideas as you're drawing. But I could let you know what my favorites and least favorites are later on a different day. With pencils, I can make some more light to dark value. Now let's fast forward a little bit. Maybe I want to use a little bit of charcoal or soft pastels, some oil pastels. Um, it's really my choice. This is just a day for me to play around. I'm probably going to spend about 20 or 25 minutes just doodling. But the point of today really is to make as many different ideas about these art materials as I can, which means I need to try a lot of different things. Like I wanna to try to find new ways to use my art supplies. Maybe now that I have this on my finger, my finger is my drawing material. I don't know. It's all very unique, all very fun. I hope that you guys have a really good time just playing around. And remember to keep everything on one page. All right, guys, so now that you saw what I did in my sketchbook, it's time for show what you know show what you know so tell your table partners your favorite drawing material from today and why you loved it so much but then i want you to tell them which one you did not like today which one was your least favorite and tell them why you did not like it if you have extra time you can tell them if your idea from earlier today changed, like did your opinion about what your favorite one is change from at the beginning to the end of class or did it stay the same? If you have extra, extra time, you could tell your partner a glow, something you did really, really well today in your sketchbook, tell them something you did well, and then tell them something that you could have done better. Or if you had extra time, what would you continue to do to make it better? Now, if you don't have anybody near you, you can be just reflecting in your mind about your favorite and your least favorite and then what you did well and what you could have done better. Now, guys, I have had so much fun doing art with you today. It is really important to explore materials before you really make big art about them. So next week, now that we have explored, we're actually going to have an idea generation day, which is where we generate some ideas around a theme, and then we make a real life drawing. I am very, very excited for what we're about to do. I hope you have a great day and a great time making art. If you have extra time past the reflection and past our art making today, you are more than welcome to get on our extras page on our home button for the, for the art canvas page. You can play around on our extras button. Until then, I hope you have a great week and I cannot wait until our next art class. Bye.